Good morning, Rebels. Today we're going to hear from many different people in the Las Vegas community about fitness, technology, and sports. Stay tuned for more. Welcome to the Lost Rebel News Show. My name is Anthony Malici. And I'm Kelsey Olson. UNLV's campus has so much to offer to its students, including a four-story gym fully equipped with machines, weights, a pool, a running track, and more. Anthony Malici spoke to people on campus about how they get fit at the Student Recreation and Wellness Center. Hi, I'm Anthony, and I want to get an understanding about how people feel about the SRWC. So, let's talk to some people. So, what's your name? Kendrick. Kendrick? And what do you like about the gym at UNLV? Friendly staff, of course, um, and uh, the equipment, always good. There's multiple equipment, a lot of people come, but there's always something for you to work on. Um, the pool is great. So what is it you like about the gym at UNLV? Because um, it's just pretty diverse uh, with students and um, like, uh, the community. I've seen a lot of oh, instructors as well. So James, what is it that you like about the SRWC? Um, lots of equipment and people are really friendly. Um, never have a problem finding someone to help me, you know, lift weights or someone who needs to spot me. So okay. people are really nice. And I have all the equipment I need. So what are some of the things you like about the SRWC? Um, I like the variety it has and how it's separated on different floors. Like when there's cardio floor, there's the weight floor, and then like the track is all the way at the top. So I like the track. What are some of the pros and cons you'd say about this gym? Um, pros are definitely that it's close to home. It's convenient to get to. I ride my longboard, so I have to like find parking right. somewhere. Yeah. Um, the cons are things. Uh, I mean, they're not ten. <laughs> right, 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 right. Some of the more higher end like yeah. things. Yeah. Um, sometimes finding time on the basketball court is different is I difficult. Think cool. But um, I'm usually just here to lift weights okay. and stuff and so that's it's pretty good for that. Visit the Student Recreation and Wellness Center, open Monday through Friday from six AM to midnight, Saturday eight AM to ten PM and Sunday ten AM to ten PM. There are plenty of opportunities to give back to your community. For those interested in technology, this is for you. Kaylee Birkinshaw finds out how to volunteer with a new organization in Las Vegas. Coder Dojo, a nonprofit organization new to the Las Vegas Valley dedicated to empowering kids aged 7 to 17 to explore their coding abilities. I spoke with Amy Mildren, the founding champion of the Las Vegas Dojo, to find out more. Coder Dojo is a, a coding club for kids to introduce them to code, and uh, my neighbor um, is in the STEM program at her high school, and she was interested in learning more about code. I suggested that she join a local dojo, and I thought maybe I could volunteer. So I looked up a dojo in town, and there wasn't one in the entire state of Nevada. So I thought, what a great opportunity to start one up. So how can people help with this organization? We really need volunteers and mentors, uh, specifically people that know how to code, even just a little bit. Um, again, this is a club. It's meant to give kids a safe place to kind of explore technology and do cool things together and to network. Um, there's lots of tools and resources that we already have available for kids to leverage. And mentors are really just here to kind of guide kids and answer questions, that sort of thing. It's definitely not a classroom environment. Um, so yeah, we really need mentors. That's what I need. I need mentors. <laughs> so I know this is your second session. What's the experience been like so far? inspirational uh, actually um, you know what I thought that this was going to be when I first showed up for the first session is not at all how it went it went so much better um, we had all these materials and it was ready to show up and inspire these kids and I've learned more from these kids than I ever could have taught them um, one of my favorite quotes uh, was from one of our ninjas. We call our kids ninjas that come to our dojos. Um, she was a young girl, and after our first session, she said, I wish I could do this every day. That, for me right there, it makes it worth it. You know, it, it shows that we're you know, 
taking a step in the right direction. What a great opportunity for kids in the future generation of leaders. To find out more about Coder Dojo, visit CoderDojo.com or follow Coder Dojo Las Vegas on social media. Did you know we have a professional soccer team in Vegas now? For the first time ever, Las Vegas has a new pro soccer team, the Las Vegas Lights. Kristen Swartz went around campus to find out if students knew about the new team. Last year, Las Vegas finally got their first professional sport, the Vegas Golden Knights. Hockey has been a big hit in Las Vegas and is advancing really well within the NHL. Now, Las Vegas has gained a professional soccer team. They are called the Las Vegas Lights. The team made its debut in the United Soccer League this year. The Lights play their home games at Cashman Field, where the 51s also play. The teams host barbecues and pre-party events before their home games. The hockey team has been a real hit in Las Vegas and has made a huge contribution to the city. Will the professional soccer team do the same? I caught up with a few students on campus to see how they thought about the Las Vegas Lights. Do you know that we have a pro soccer team in Las Vegas? I was aware of it, but I didn't know a lot of information on it. Like, I don't know the team's name or anything, but yeah. Do you think it will impact our community in a positive way? Absolutely. I feel like the fact that Las Vegas is growing in both their arts and their sports really shows a different side to Las Vegas and not the normal gambling strip side that everyone associates it with. So I feel like we're growing and we're expanding and we're showing all that Las Vegas has to offer. Did you know that we have a pro soccer team in Las Vegas? Yes, I do. Do you think that it will impact our community? Uh, yes, very much because with sports you bring a lot of people and a lot of diversity to Las Vegas. So the soccer sport will bring a lot of that here. Did you know that we have a pro soccer team here in Las Vegas? I did. Aren't they called the Las Vegas Lights? Yes, they are. Have you made it out to a game? I've been to two, actually. How did you like it? I liked it. I think it's a great way to bring the community together. You know, Vegas isn't all about gambling and the strip. You know, we have we have a life here. We're not just all about resorts and casinos. So I think it's a really good way to bring some pro sports into here. We're getting a WNBA team. I think that bringing pro sports into Vegas is a great idea. The season goes from March to October, and you can attend a game at the Cashman Center. I really can't wait to go to one of those soccer games. It looks like so much fun. Me too. I'm finding out when the next game is. We should go together. I'll buy the tickets. And I'll get breakfast the next morning. Well, that's all we have for you today, Rebels. Have a great day, and remember, it's okay to feel lost.